we want to do a bit of a, a special really about immigration. The risk for, for small and medium sized companies is actually the situation for them could potentially get worse because we know that it's not typical for small businesses to, to import talent. Very easy to focus on immigration numbers, it, it gains a lot of political traction in the media, but the reality is we have high levels of economic immigration because we have a skill shortage. But the thing that blows my mind with this is you can't just stop immigration and then expect all of these people to have the right skills the next day. There's a belief in that white paper that if you turn off the tap on immigration, it will lead to this dramatic increase in skills being acquired by the domestic population that will see this sort of unleashing of skills investment. And there's a really good example, isn't there, in welding of that? Yeah, so if we, if we look at welding and we know we've got some big skills gaps in welders, um, it takes four years to train a, a, a welder. So a, an apprenticeship in welding is, is a three to four year course. Um, and because of that, we're now we're importing labour, particularly on the Clyde for the shipbuilding from the Philippines. But the reality is you also need a blend of immigration for those moments where you are waiting for people to train. It just isn't realistic in manufacturing to expect that to shift overnight.